Kim Mitchell, Patio Lanterns. Here's a quick run through. <laughs> Here's a fifth string open A for tuning. So let's go through that opening. You're uh, playing it all on the uh, middle, middle three strings, whatever, fourth, third, and uh, second strings. And the first chord pattern, uh, this finger is not touching anything, so you're going fifth fret here. On the fourth string, you're putting your index finger, or sorry, your middle finger here on the uh, third fret of the second string, and you're putting your index finger right here on the second fret of the third string. And uh, what you do is pick them one down once, then here, Okay, so let's tackle that main pattern. Now, um, you're playing the open A, open fifth string, just letting that kind of drone along, and you're mainly playing the uh, fourth and third string. You start by barring them here on the seventh fret. Move that third string down one fret, back up. Now this is right here, fourth, uh, fourth fret of the fourth string, and the second fret of the third string of the third string. Yeah. Move that up two frets. Now here's where I can very very subtly hear him uh, slide that. Uh, some people play it in the end on this note, so they go. And that sounds okay too, but I, I swear on the recording I can hear him subtly going. So you don't have to do that, but that's uh, that's what I'm hearing subtly in the background anyway. And um, occasionally, if you want, you can throw in that um, second string. So bar you would be barring uh, those three strings. And in this chord, you play uh, that note right there. Now the timing in some of these chord changes is really um, difficult to do sometimes, and it's especially hard to do if you don't have a, a set of drums like me. So um, you just kind of kind of kind of have to hear the uh, the changes uh, as you listen along and play along with the song. <laughs> so I'm mainly going to give you the chords, and then you're just going to have to figure out the timing on your own. So it's uh, and as soon as you hit that, almost go into a D, open fourth string. Oh, sorry, yeah, open fourth string, and then form that D chord. And then what you do is you put your pinky right here on the third fret, third fret of the first string, and you peel off your index finger, and then back to the D. So once again, and 
just before you go into the other pattern. So what I do there is I slide it up uh, on the fourth string, slide it up to about the fourth fret. Play the uh, second fret here on the third string. And then I play an open second string. Oops. And then go into that uh, open fifth string and back in. Okay. Then after that, going to an E. Now, if you want here, you can actually just go from an E to an A to a D. What I do instead is I just sort of, um, as I'm fingering that E chord, is I take my, um, I guess, ring finger, and I just move it up like that so it grabs the, uh, the A note here, which is the um, second fret of the third string. And then play a D. And then, then we're going into the chorus, which is an E. a D, and then you peel off that, that finger, so you're ringing that open uh, first string into an A. You can add this note here if you want uh, to the A chord sometimes. Then you do that pattern we did at the beginning. Oops. 